Hi, I'm Rachel from Tea and Forget Me Nots. If you enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Now we all know that free is the best price, although often that comes with the price of needing repairs, as was the case with this chest of drawers. I've been waiting for a piece to use the beautiful dusky pink colour damask on. This paint coupled with the girl handles is a really pretty look. The drawers are missing its handles, a base on the bottom drawer and the backing was also warped. Even so, it was in good condition, although I did come across one thing which left me very puzzled. I'm still not sure if it was a poor design choice or shoddy manufacturing. I began by washing the whole piece down with White Lightning Cleaner by Dixie Bell. After giving it a good once over, I washed it again with plain water to get rid of any leftover cleaner which the paint might then struggle to stick to. I gave it a scuff sand all over to give the paint some extra texture to hold on to. I removed the sanding dust with a sticky tack cloth. If you don't remove the dust, the paint will just stick to that instead and fall off later. It was fine that the piece came without handles, as I had some gold ones that I wanted to use on it anyway. I filled the existing hole in with Dixie Bell's mud filler and needed three coats to get a smooth finish. I used my punch hole locator to work out where the new holes would go. This is a great tool, as long as you measure the handles correctly, you can line it up with the middle and drill straight through the guide itself. I did this before I painted so I didn't risk scratching the paintwork before it was fully cured, which takes about 30 days. Also, if I did make a mistake on where the holes were located, it's better to fix it before I've primed, painted and sealed. Thinza Bin is my favourite primer and I usually use the shellac based one, which is great for blocking out wood grain or tannin bleed through. This was my first time using the water based version and it was recommended as being far easier to clean up after. I painted two coats of this primer and it worked really well. My go to paint brand is Fusion Mineral Paint. I discovered them this year and haven't looked back. I did three coats of damask, which is a lovely dusky pink. I also painted in the dovetail joints to highlight them, as they're a nice bit of character for an otherwise quite plain chest of drawers. Fusion doesn't need a sealer, but when I sell a piece I want the reassurance that it will be as durable as possible, so I sealed this with Polyvine's Wax Finish Varnish and did an extra coat on top. To my mystery, the two small top drawers didn't sit flush with the frame and they stuck out by about an inch. I assumed something was caught or broken, but after an investigation, it was just where the wooden runners stopped, which meant that the drawers would always stick out. So I used a coping saw to cut about an inch out of the inside runner, so the drawers lined up flush with the frame. I still don't know whether this was a manufacturing mistake or the work of a design genius who I don't understand, but I won't worry about having fixed it for the better. I also had two repairs to fix. The bottom drawer was missing its base, but because the original backing needed replacing as it was warped and they were made from the same material, I used one piece of the backing and cut it to size with the mitre saw and slotted it into the base drawer. This now meant that I needed a new backing, so I used one single piece of hardboard and used a staple gun to fix that into place. And finally, I added the lovely gold handles. I really like how simple they are, but I think it shows off the rectangular frames on the drawers really nicely. Until next time, bye.